Stevenson was born and raised in Phoenix and has been painting for the past 40 years. He is now a full-time commission artist, painting large murals throughout the valley and airbrush work, mostly in the automotive industry. As a hobby, Tom shows his other acrylic and freehand airbrush paintings with us at the gallery. His realistic creations are often mistaken for photographs, but we remind viewers he simply uses a photograph as a reference and takes it from there. Tom's pieces portray people and their thoughts from unique perspectives. Life, love, beauty, and death are all common themes for his pieces. Tom's lifelike creations have become distinctly recognizable and popular within the gallery. Sure, we got Tom Stevenson here. Uh, Tom, how long have we been showing you? How long have you been? I'd say close to 20, if, if not over, a little bit over 20 years at this wow. point. And how did, you, how did you find out about the gallery and how did you get in here? Jeez, you know, I don't know how I found out. I don't know if I was walking through and just uh, kind of liked what was being shown. And after meeting Craig, you know, it's like uh, just his, his outlook on life and what he does, you know, with his profits and everything like that, I, I, I really, I thought that was, you know, perfect for me. He's so easygoing compared to the last gallery I had. And I don't really show a lot in galleries. Um, I'm pretty much just one gallery at a time and you're, right. you're my gallery. So, um, how did you start painting? How old were you and what, what got you in the, into it? Uh, drawing, I think mostly, of uh, painting, uh, let's see, just science fiction, I think mostly, uh, Geiger, um, uh, a lot of stuff like that. And then I had a really good high school teacher. I think I was always taking art classes and really enjoyed it throughout the elementary school. And then in high school, I had a, a fantastic uh, art teacher who just kind of let us kind of do whatever we wanted and saw that um, how each student was um, devoted to, to our work. And so um, he kind of uh, directed or he didn't, you know, say do this. It was just he, he pushed uh, me along and thus I just kind of kept doing doing it and doing it because, yeah, there's something inside me that just makes me want to keep going. Was it, was it in high school that you decided that you wanted to pursue art or was it after or? Um, I think it was before that. Our, oh, before. I think, but that, that teacher, yeah, it was, I think, uh, to make a career out of it, I don't think I ever knew that I wanted to do that. It's just I always did something with the art, drawing yeah. or, or painting. Okay. But, yeah, but I think in the high school, <clears throat> it was uh, when I got into airbrushing and applying uh, the paints, uh, that that I did one painting, or I did a, you know a lot of paintings, but one that just really stood out, and and I realized at that point that you know this is kind of what I wanted to keep going on, or mm -hmm. that direction. So yeah, well, you uh, you started airbrush in high school, you said. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What drew you towards that? Because I, mean, I know in here it, it's a pretty uncommon thing. For, for me at least, and you know, in here, I think you're probably the only airbrush artist that we have. So what, what was it about that that drew it to you? Or drew you to it? Just uh, certain artists that were out there, uh, Philip Castle, um, Jim Burns, and uh, Geiger. Uh, I think uh, seeing all their work kind of uh, direct me to it, because it was, I, I always like really clean uh, work and um, very photorealistic which is what I like and so yeah um, stuff definitely definitely photorealistic <laughs> yeah it's great yeah. what other mediums did you work with or do you work with besides oh, airbrush yeah oil you know I did a lot of oils um uh, earlier in my when I had a lot of time on my hands I would do oil um mm -hmm. now it's just I have an idea and the quickest way for me to get the idea out and to uh move on to the next idea. Uh, sometimes I just don't have patience to, to sit so long on one painting. Um, that's what kind of the airbrush allows me to do, apply the acrylic um, quickly and get the effect that I want. Uh, but, you know, I, I've tried everything. Um, watercolors I didn't really like. 
I, I enjoy them, but and I enjoy the look, but it's just something I can't handle. I think I, I'm just maybe maybe uh, anal retentive in the sense that I want it to look exactly how I have it in my mind. Um, yeah. So that that looseness of acrylic or uh, watercolor didn't give that to me. Um, oils just takes too long. Um, drawing I still do a lot of, but yeah, it's just airbrush just allows me to uh, get out what I have in my head. So I know that you do artwork on like motorcycles and cars and stuff and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, how did that start? And is that is that um, like your full time job, or do you do is is creating art on the side your your full time gig? Um, making the money, <laughs> the the uh, lowriders and the motorcycles uh, was the full time gig at making money, um, showing with you, you know, I, I make a little bit of money, which is great. Um, but, and I always do my art whenever I have the time when I'm not doing a gig. Uh, the, uh, I'm also doing murals and clubs and stuff for um, people and stuff like that. But, so those are my money makers and that's my work. Um, I enjoy that a lot because I like to be told it's nice to have somebody say, hey, do this, you know, and then I could just turn off that side of my brain and just kind of do my, um, I don't know, talent or my, just, it just is like, I just plug at it and I get it done. And usually at the beginning of it, it's like, oh, I don't want to do this. I hate this, you know, but then after I do it, it's like, oh, wow, that's so cool, you know, and the customers are usually always really happy. So um, oh, I'm, I, I, I like in, um, making people happy, make yeah. good feelings, good feelings, definitely. Yeah. Has, uh, has the virus and everything going on, have you been creating more? Has it, has it uh, struck inspiration or has it, has it been harder to create or how has it kind of impacted your creativity? Uh, <laughs> it, I think it, it allowed me to really just focus on kind of what I want to do. And so that has helped a lot. Um, I was sick for a couple of weeks. And while I was sick, I thought of a couple of paintings I wanted to do. And now I'm doing one of them. Wow. And uh, it's, I, I'm excited about it. What is your favorite thing about what you do in your art and, and your creativity? What's your favorite part? I, I think I, you know, I look at a lot of other artwork and I just love it all. Um, everything that you show there. But one thing that I love and that I have to get into each painting is something human. Um, I need um, some human element uh, to say a little bit of a story, um, like the hands and the feet that I do, that mm -hmm. you've sold through, <clears throat> that, that has been sold through Art One. Um, it, just to see some uh, part of a human in, in the uh, the painting is very important for me. It's just I think we all can relate um, to just even if it's a hand gesture, you know, you can look at it and you could get a little bit of a story just oh, from yeah. just from an image of of a, a human part or a face or you know all that kind of stuff. That's that's Absolutely. the stuff that I, I I need to have. What's the hardest thing for you? about about creating and being an artist or um, one of the more challenging aspects i think the challenging aspect for me is kind of always the pressure of um thinking that i have to sell the piece or i have to please somebody enough so that they would maybe put money down on it i wish i didn't have that um yeah that that pressure that i think this society puts on everybody um and i think artists feel it more in a way because maybe it's a self-worth thing it's like um am i worthy in this society to do this thing that doesn't pay any money you know, I think this society puts so much pressure on being able to make a certain amount of money. Yeah. And it's sad that um, a lot of the artists 
um, just can't let that go in a lot of ways. I know that a lot do, um, but I think that's the, the thing that I, I have to go through. That's about all I got. Is there anything else you want to talk about or oh. get out there? Or? No, it's just uh, <clears throat> R1 is awesome. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's like, what more can I say? It's, it's <laughs> knowing everybody and especially you, Clayton, and you know everybody there is just is is really nice to come in and talk and just I feel really relaxed there. It's it's it's, it's a nice, wonderful place, and it sounds like you guys are going to hang in there for a while. So that's we're trying. That's, yeah, that's we're good. doing everything we can. Yeah. yeah that's uh, awesome. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Clayton. <laughs> Have a good day. All right. Bye.